ん僕じゃないよ僕じゃないよ証拠もないのに人を疑うのはやめて Looks like the Halloween sermon for this year is Santa Elizabeth with a penis. Weird flex, but all right. Otherwise known as Saber Astolfo, this monster can sized beat stick actually came out last year with a resounding thud, and not on account of his girth. For those of you not familiar, Saber Astolfo is a single target quick attacker with some defensive and disruptive utility multi hit evasion, delayed stun, a cleanse effect, an NP seal on his noble phantasm. Combined with a 20% per turn battery and 9 hits on his noble phantasm, you think he'd be able to keep enemies miserable with a mix of NP spam and quick crits. Unfortunately, Saber Astolfo was getting flack from pretty much day one. First of all, his questionable NP gain statistics didn't do him any favors. He struggles mightily to keep his Noble Phantasm charged, and his battery is less of a convenience and more of a necessity. Second of all, let's take a look at Majestic Triumphal Return. It's an attack and crit damage buff that funnels stars onto his Buster card. That last part has been a big sore point for anyone trying to use Astolfo for the longest time. The guy only has one Buster card, so having a skill that funnels stars onto it is really strange. A more severe problem is that, as a single target quick servant, Estoff was someone you really want to run with Scotty. Well, what's Scotty known for? Aside from loops. And her NP. That's right, vicious quick crits. This puts you in a weird position where losing the buffs from a skill 3 is completely unacceptable, but so is having your buster card undermine your quick cards. This anti synergy is why, despite being more versatile on paper, Estoff doesn't clearly dominate his main rival Okita. The Tycoon of Tuberculosis might be more basic, but she does what it says on the tin. Thankfully, Astolfo does benefit from some help down the road. Next year, he's due for an upgrade to Declaration of Destruction that adds 20% immediate charge and a 20-star dump, giving him more potential to brute force quick crits or his noble phantasm. But the closest thing to true salvation comes two years down the road when the Arctic Summer Servants are added. Ruler Scotty is a lot like Castor Scotty, except she has some hybrid action going on, buffing both Quick and Buster. Like Oki. If Oki was good for anything except potato duty and moral support. 50% battery, star dump, stars return, hybrid buffs, and a specific buster crit buff. These are all things Astolfo can exploit, and with this help, I think he becomes more consistent. Not perfect, mind you. His NP gain is still in the toilet. But before you decide to stay the course and commit to Astolfo, there's something you should know about. This year, the Christmas event comes with a perfectly functional quick saber. A free quick saber in the form of Santa Karna. His kit might seem a little basic by comparison, but you get him at NP5, and that's hard to argue with. So if you just need to fill this specific class and card type, you may find him the more cost-effective option versus hunting for multiple copies of a limited 5-star servant. If you want to stick to Astolfo anyway, I have some advice. Let's say you're a fledgling master and you get Astolfo off a YOLO roll, or maybe a guaranteed 5-star banner. You don't have much in the way of supports, especially not crazy 5-star ones. You're in what I like to call the use whatever you've got stage of account building, and as the label says, you don't have much in the way of options. Lucky for you, there are some inexpensive picks to help Estolfo out. First is Hans Christian Andersen, whose combo of stars and charge per turn means that Estolfo won't take 50 years to build his noble phantasm. Then I'd consider Bartholomew Roberts, who can provide stars and a quick buff, among other things. As a one star servant, he's quite economical to level and skill up. Over time, you'll want to acquire at least one version of Scotty either a standard caster version or the future ruler variant. Keep a nice reserve of quartz, keep an eye for her banners, and remember that you have some powerful meta supports coming up next year, so you may have to make some hard choices in the short term. Also make some friends, because you'll want to run Estolfo with two of her. Finding a Scotty's not the easiest thing in the world right now, but eventually we're due for multi-layer support lists. Once that happens, you'll start to see things in the caster slot that aren't Castoria. But if you hate friendship, just roll one of each Scotty and run them together. That's also how you get around the duplicate support restriction in certain high difficulty quests. One of the few areas where Quick currently has a unique advantage over the other card types, at least on the Japanese servers. Between now and double, or, dare I say it, triple Scotty, you'll have to eke out advantages where you can. If you happen to have major flowers from the Vegas Summer Event, you can get a bit of extra charge. Estolfo largely deals in flat charge and this command code will give you exactly that. Estolfo's event comes with Traces of Christmas's Past, which is the quintessential filler craft essence for quick servants. At least the ones that don't need K-Scope. Towards the mid-game, you can aim to get his starting charge of pen skill to level 1, which gives him 10% for a total of 60. With Declaration of Destruction at level 10, this combo lets him NP after 2 turns with no external help. With the upgraded version, just 1 turn. For late game applications, Black Grail is the gold standard, but if you happen to have Knights of Marines, its 60% starting charge lets you combo Declaration of Destruction with the 20% charge of Pen skill to use his NP after only one turn, and with the upgraded skill, he can NP immediately. 
Situations where you don't run in with Scotty are quite rare, but if you're forced to run a story support or you absolutely need some form of utility from Sherlock or Santa Martha, you aren't forced to wait around or position swap. Some off-meta supports and supportive attackers even give a little bit of charge themselves, so you could do this strategy with Assassin Wu, post-upgrade, and traces of Christmas's past if you really wanted to. That said, your core game plan doesn't change all that much over time. NP, fish for crits, rinse and repeat. If you're having second thoughts about the quick life, consider this guide on Saber Hokusai, a servant that I totally didn't confuse with her old man who I blew a bunch of code openers on. To be fair though, I'd still tap that.